Okay, so picture this. You get home, kick off your shoes, sit down on your comfy chair and turn on your TV. You head to Netflix to find that show you've been watching. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? But it's gone. Now if only there was a way this didn't happen. Well there is. I made a video on it. You should have watched it. But it doesn't matter now because this video is all about the upgrade. So this is the new NAS. It has not one but five 4 terabyte hard drives using ZFS. Three drives are in RAID Z1, meaning one drive can fail. This is for Plex Movies. The other two are mirrored for random files and junk. Now let's get into the build, shall we? So first up, let's look at the motherboard. This is a Supermicro X9DRL-IF Intel Dual Socket motherboard. It supports dual Intel CPUs with both ECC and non-ECC memory. It has an onboard graphics chip, gigabit ethernet, and a total of 8 fan headers, plus plenty of SATA connectors. We're going to be pairing this with two Intel Xeon E5-2670s. They've both got 8 cores and 12 threads each, with a boost clock of 3.3 GHz. So having two of them is going to be pretty tasty. The memory that we'll be using is 6 of these SK Hynix 4GB sticks. Along with two 2GB two SK Hynix sticks. All of these are ECC RAM modules which I pulled from an old server I was given for free. And I mean, who can say no to free hardware? The CPU coolers I got are these Noctua NH-L9X65s. Now I very nearly fucked up big with these. They wasn't fitting next to each other properly, but luckily I was able to get them seated properly and the temps haven't been bad, so... Phew! Now I didn't record them actually fitting because... Frustration! But you know what they say. Measure twice, order once. And I definitely didn't measure twice. Now where's all of this going you say? Well the case of course. I picked myself up a Code Gen V2 600mm deep 4U rack mount case. Comes with two 120mm fans on the front for intake and two 80mm fans on the back for the exhaust. But I still ended up changing these out anyway. It fits a full size ATX motherboard has a 3x5.25 expandable bay which I ended up putting to use and 8 hard drive bays which I didn't put to use now it does come with a lockable door however I did end up taking that off I mean it kept getting caught on the handle anyway so didn't need it so first up the standoffs get screwed in and the motherboard goes into the case followed by the replacement fans on the back and on the front. The fans being two 80mm Noctua ND-A8s and two 120mm Noctua ND-D12s. But let's not forget about the expansion bays that are also on the front. For this I got myself a hot swap drive enclosure. Do I really need hot swap bays? Well no, but it looks cool as fuck. The hard drives going into the enclosure are three 4TB Seagate Ironwolves and two 4TB WD Reds. The WD Reds aren't shown here because they were in use on my old NAS at the time. The enclosure slots nicely into the now empty space at the front. 
and with all the other cables connected, in comes the power supply. I didn't get any good b-roll footage of it, but it's a Cooler Master 750 watt bronze. To finish off, in goes the USB to be used as a boot drive. Quick note, Freenuz does actually recommend against this, but it'll do for now. And that's it, that's the build. Thank you for watching. I know the footage wasn't that great in this video. Uh, I realised after the fact that all the footage I took was pretty shit, so I had to make do. But thank you for watching.